Hello everyone and welcome to Language Arts and Science. What I'd like you to do first is go through the Welcome and Account Setup module and set up all of your accounts. There's a little more information about our class in the first module and in the second, third, and fourth modules are the accounts that I'd like you to set up. One is Gmail. Uh, let's take a look. There is a um, there are three tabs on this one. If you need Gmail, use the first tab and just click on this image. It will open up the new accounts button page at uh, Gmail. If you have Gmail that you're willing to use with our class, please make sure that your name is something I will recognize. If if it's not, if you chose Summerflower1992 as your Google name, your Gmail name, then please add here in the basic info section, add a nickname. And put in the, and the name that I will recognize you by, and then you can have your name displayed in one of these two ways where it shows your nickname. Okay, that's just so I know who I'm dealing with when you email me. Now, once you have those done, you can click on this last image under confirm Gmail. This will generate a Gmail automatically to me that tells me who you are and that you're waiting for your points. All you have to do is click the send button down here. Okay, when you're done with that, click the next button at the bottom of the page and you can open up the next task, which is the password manager page. There's a video here explaining what to do, but basically you click on this image, make a copy of this in your Google Drive, and you can keep track of your login, your usernames and passwords, and this is only visible to you. All right, when you're done with that, uh, the last last thing we're doing is setting up our no red ink quizlet and keyboarding so these are three places where we will uh, work on grammar uh, vocabulary and typing skills or keyboarding skills here's an overview this is a little bit dated but it has all the basic information and uh, we will be going to a place called no red ink to set up the accounts this is a place where you uh, can study grammar and the next one is Quizlet, which is a data uh, flashcard database. And if you just click on this link, it will open up. Uh, it will open access to our classroom at Quizlet and use your Gmail to sign up, right? Use your Gmail to sign up for No Red Ink, for Quizlet, and for this uh, typing.com. It will give you that option. Let's see. Yeah, so if you don't have an account, click Create New, and then click here and use your Google to type in, to log in, to create your account. You're requesting to join John Falconer's class F22, that's Fall 2022 Language Arts and Science, so you'll know you're in the right place. Just click the Google link and you'll be done. Um, I'd like to have you get these done before we have class tomorrow morning at 10. We'll be meeting from 10 to 11.50 in RLC 179. And um, I'll have office hours after that in RLC 104. So our class tomorrow is two hours long. We meet twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays in um, from 10 to 11.50. So basically 10 to 12, we have a 10-minute break in the middle. Um, so I'd like to have you set up these accounts first and bring your computers to class if you have a computer. If you don't, we may be able to get to the library and borrow one from the college for you. Um, things that we're going to do this term, the first three to four weeks, we basically divided the class up into three time periods. The first one, this says one to four weeks, but it may be one to three. We're going to be doing reading and writing projects. Uh, we'll be talking about how the sun works. We'll be talking about the hydrologic cycle. That's the big name for it, also called the water cycle and uh, how photosynthesis works. And we'll all be doing a little bit of research, note-taking using a, a note-taking method called Cornell Notes, and then uh, writing and reading to the class what we've learned about our, our subject areas. I'm hoping we can make some study groups for that. During that time, you're going to develop an interest in some area of the sun or water or photosynthesis or the water cycles on, on Earth or some planet, some topic involving something related. And you're going to spend a few weeks, uh, like weeks four through eight or five through eight, 
doing formal research using scientific methods and APA formatting, which is the, the formatting used for scientific writing. Okay. Then when you've become an expert on the subject, you're going to turn your slide, your um, research paper into a slideshow presentation and present it to the class on the very last day of the term, which I think is December 8th. Anyway, more on that later. That's kind of an overview of what we will be doing, working on um, scientific concepts, working on grammar, English grammar, written grammar, uh, vocabulary at Quizlet, keyboarding, so typing. If you already type well, you can earn high school credit for it. And then we will be doing guided reading and writing note-taking projects, a research project, and then a presentation at the end of the term. We will be busy, but we're going to learn a lot, and um, uh, it's going to be a very interesting term. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you all tomorrow. Please try to be on time. It's, again, that's in room 179 in RLC from 10 a.m. until noon. I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye-bye.